Ladies, what is the most obvious hint you've dropped that went unnoticed by a guy? I have a pole in my living room. So one day I dressed like a schoolgirl and waited for my boyfriend to get home. He walks in and I started doing some pole tricks and he literally walked past me into the bedroom to change. I was like hello I'm trying to fuck and he said oh I just thought you were dressed like that. He kinda killed it, damn, as soon as you said pole in my living room I was like how could he not notice. Early interaction with my boyfriend, me, that suit looks great on you, it would look better on the floor, him, that would wrinkle the suit, guy has good priorities, I approve. Nothing reminds you better how unattractive you are than reading these sorts of threads. And realizing no woman has ever dropped any hint remotely similar to these to you. I look back on it now and see how I totally missed the hint. In college a girl in my class came over to study and when it got late she ended up wanting to stay. I had a couch in my room and said she could sleep on the couch. When I was getting ready for bed, her, I usually have a hard time falling asleep. Do you want to lay down together and watch Netflix with me, me, nah, I got a test tomorrow, but hey, I got an A on that damn test, Christina if you're out there, I'm not gay, I just oblivious to hints. He asked if I had a boyfriend and said he was nervous to try start something with me, I explicitly said no I don't and you shouldn't be, yet he does nothing. Four months later we eventually end up going out, still together now. My then not boyfriend and I were waiting at the train station on my train home, he would leave with the bus after it arrived, my train came and I thought fuck it and kissed my then not boyfriend on the mouth, immediately after, I jumped on the train, on which the doors then closed, I didn't see his reaction nor felt it so I sat pretty anxious on the train, thinking I ruined it all, about 5 minutes later, I got a text saying, that was meant as a friend's kiss, right, lol, bless his heart. He probably thought you were going for his cheek and missed, that would be my response if some girl kissed me at all even if we were the only people in the vicinity, the light post is right the did you mean to kiss that, that was him clearly not wanting to look into things too deeply, oh my god that's so cute. Last summer I was doing my best to seduce who is my current boyfriend, we were going swimming at a friend's house and while they were changing into their bathing suits in the house, me and him make our way to the pool. I take advantage of this moment to strip in front of him, as sensual as possible, bathing suit was underneath my clothes, he runs past me, full sprint, and cannonballs into the pool, he was probably hiding his bone, definitely. Classic strategy, can't spot a tent in motion, a boner in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. He and I could be friends, how can you pass up an empty pool cannon ball, to be fair he didn't want to be standing the slack jawed staring at you, guys don't want to be thought creepy. Especially if he was attracted to you, so his thought process went something like this, wow this girl is super cute, I hope I don't screw anything up, just play it cool, don't say or do anything stupid, Wait what is she doing? Oh my god she is taking off her clothes and no one else is here. Yes, yes, omg why? Oh shit stop staring. Stop staring. What do I do? What do I do? Crap. Wadoido. Run. Run really fast and jump. Cannonball. Crisis averted. Damn it. You weren't supposed to do anything stupid. This makes me sad because it's probably exactly how I my thought process would have gone put out my hand for him to hold and he high fived me. Did you expect him to leave you hanging? What is holding hands but a really slow drawn out high five anyway, god. In middle school me and my best friend watched scrubs all the time, we'd do a Todd high five in the hallways whenever we'd see each other, and one time the girl I had a crush on put up her hand like she wanted a five, so I smacked her hand as hard as I could and snapped. Turns out she was waving to her friend behind me, I had forgotten until your comment, I can just imagine that happening to JD, hilarious. 
I knew this girl for a year and had kinda had feelings for her the whole time, we got close for a few weeks and one time I'm watching some films at hers, it gets late and I start to head out, she says I don't want you to go, thinking she was just feeling lonely or whatever I follow her upstairs and we get in bed. And do nothing, lights go out, we start going to sleep, I'm sitting there the whole time thinking damn. I wish I had the balls to make a move but don't, then she sits up, takes her top off in a way I couldn't possibly miss, and lies down again, still, I don't get that she's trying to make moves on me, 10 minutes later she finally gives up and just kisses me, she mocked me about this for months after, I had exactly this happen, but it was at my place, eventually walked her down to her car at 2 am and she turned around to give me a hug, but I was standing like 5 feet back by the curb waving goodbye, I knew I fucked up as these things were occurring, but that didn't stop me from fucking it up. One time I was texting my bf and told him that I bought a vibrator for the nights he was away at work or something rather. His exact response was, oh cool, what color, I sent him a pic of it and he replied with can you put it up your butt too, I sent him a text replying come over and find out and he replied two minutes later, never mind, I just googled it, edit, haha over 1k upvotes, thanks guys, I hope my failed attempt at sexting brightened your day or something th him, oh god, not going to be a guinea pig for that experiment, definitely not falling for that one dot 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 again. You are really cute and I like you met with complete silence. Later on that dude told me that he does not accept compliments well, we have already planned the next few dates, speaking from experience, odds are he probably got hurt a lot in life, I've had people flirt with me as a joke, and I knew it was a joke because she'd rejoin her friends, point, and laugh, that kind of treatment can build up and really damage your confidence and self esteem. Me, so you're saying, if I like this guy. I should just be straightforward and ask him out, him, yeah, me, okay, do you want to go out with me this Friday, him, yeah, just like that, it was perfect, me, edit, oops, totally forgot about this, yeah, this was like 10 years ago so this is how I remember it, I was trying to feel him out before that because I really had no idea if he was into me at all, and if he said no, then I could kind of play it off as a joke, I was a teenager, give me a break lol, after the pause, I repeated myself but put emphasis on you and he laughed and said yes smile, the problem here is that you were hedging against rejection by turning it into a hypothetical, which also made it unclear. I love to share this one, a long time before my husband and I started dating we were partying in my apartment, he said he was going to crash on the couch, I told him you can come sleep in my bed, I shit you not he said well where would you sleep, I can't kick you out of your bed, the gentleman. Back when my boyfriend and I were just friends. There was a night I spent at his apartment after hanging out together all day, I was going to sleep on the couch, but I managed to talk my way into his bedroom, to get myself into his room, I think I said his roommate saw his neighbors were too loud, he got back up to get me a pillow and a blanket so I could sleep on his floor. I had taken off my bra and had asked to borrow his sweater at this point, after a while, I joked that he was hogging all the blankets up in his bed, he finally invited me up, so then I said I couldn't sleep, and suggested we stay up together to watch a movie, Netflix and Chiltm, I had just read in an ask credit thread that Jurassic Park was a good date movie, so I suggested we watch it on his phone, without mentioning the date movie part. I was beyond nervous at this point. So we're in his bed, he's holding the phone above our eyes, and I decide to lean on his shoulder and slowly begin the process of inching closer to him, we laid there all night, curled up yet barely touching, neither of us breaking the spell for so much as a peck on the cheek, we fell asleep, he wouldn't end up asking me out until 5 months later, we reenacted this scene on a hotel bed after sneaking up a bottle of wine from his office Christmas party, this time, I decided to stop being so shy, after a few sips of white wine, I finally felt brave, I looked up into his eyes and kissed him, 
Later that night, we admitted that our mutual hesitation during that first night was due to nerves from not wanting to risk our friendship for a one night stand. The only potential problem in us jumping into a relationship was our distance, because we were living almost two hours away from each other, so less than a week after that, I took the bus down to stay for another night, I told him I loved him and that we should try being together anyway, we've been together ever since, and we're moving in together in a few weeks.